Shane Cluche from uh, the Shane Cluche Band and uh, also Mahogany Rush. And uh, I'm here today to talk to you about the Carl Martin Custom Shop 50 amp. It's a sweet amp. I've been playing it for uh, about a year now and uh, really, really loving the amp. It's a one channel amplifier and uh, very, very versatile. Um, I think there's a big trend right now with amps with like super multi channels and um, frankly it just confuses me. Uh, I like to uh, drive my amps with pedals. Uh, AC tone, Carl Martin AC tone is a great one as well. So anyway, I'm going to take you through the amp and uh, let you hear the tones and all that kind of stuff and tell you a bit about it and just my experience with it. Uh, so first I'm going to give you like a clean tone example. <laughs> to it and um, it's one of the things I like. I like a nice clean when I want it and I like it to be uh, nice and round. I find a lot of amps to be thin uh, you know nowadays and there's so many amps now too with like that weird mid-range. I'm not not getting that with this amp which is great. Um, right now I've got it set with a tube rectifier and I've got it set to class A and um, I find that gives it a little bit more of a, a round warmer bottom end. If you're playing more uh, like a metal kind of thing uh, you, you know, you may find you want to use a solid state rectifier and it does tighten up and I do find it most noticeable uh, on recording and when you're, you know, maybe up, up in volume in the mix. So anyway, I'm going to give you a little demo here uh, with a little overdrive put through it. This is the AC tone. Basically, it's uh, I find that uh, everything gets delivered, everything cuts through, everything you know. And if I'm doing any odd interval chords, I'm not finding it to be too loose or ratty, right? So you get like. And if you drive it a little bit more, same idea. Nice voice to it. So I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to turn the bright switch down so if you want a little bit of a darker tone, you can get that. I'll leave the overdrive on for a minute. So you can warm it up. Uh, it works really, really well for jazz too. I've used it on a few like jazzy kind of gigs and uh, great blues amp. Uh, primarily, I do use this amp for more of a uh, more rock, and uh, so I uh, used to take you know a couple amps out to gigs, or depending on what gig, it would depend on one amp and everything. I uh, pretty much only used this for the last year, and uh, so I'm going to take some time to uh, show you another kind of more of an overdriven tone. This is more like a really driven kind of plexi tone. <laughs> solid state rectifier on and uh, and I've also put it into class A B so it gives a little more a uh, little more uh, push and uh, tightens up the bar net. So here's the same sound with that heavy sound that we uh, just finished with. <laughs> tighter, a um, little more focused, right? So depending on what you're uh, wanting to do with it. And also when you're in that in that mode, when it's just nice and clean. So it gives you that kind of... So it 
gives you that. Um, now, I'm, right now, I'm just using single coils. I'm going to give you an example with uh, humbuckers. The amp behaves very well with both, which is another thing I find about a lot of amps. You know, depending if I'm going to bring a single coil guitar, it would depend on what amp I was going to bring. Uh, not so much with this one. I can bring both and play both. It's great. So uh, now I'm going to use this guitar here. It's uh, Ibanez, one of my favorite guitars. It's, uh, it's got really high output humbuckers in it, which uh, I'll be honest with you, I usually don't like, but I really like these ones. And, uh, and as you can see, the amp handles it very well. And then, with some drive, I'll give you the heavier tone first. So it's pretty neat. Um, I don't. Uh, it's kind of a chameleon this amp because you know if you're playing clean tone, it sounds like you've got one of those old classic sawed off amps you were looking for. Um, and the other thing is, uh, you know, when you're shopping for an amp too. A lot of amps seem to be designed to sound really good in the showroom, not in the mix. And then when you hear them in the mix, they get start to sound like Charlie Brown's teacher and all that kind of stuff. That doesn't happen with this amp, actually. And this amp really shines in the mix and uh, and sounds even better. It's going to be hard because we're dealing with microphones on cameras and, and whatnot. So anyway, here's uh, with the AC tone, which is really what I use most of the time when I'm playing. <laughs> I do prefer the amp in the uh, Class A section. I find it a little sweeter, and uh, and I also like the uh, the tube rectifier, like that loose bottom end. Um, anyway, it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, definitely spend some time with the amp and uh, and take some time to fiddle with the dials because they actually do something. On some amps, they just go from the amp sounding good to the amp, sound, to the amp sounding bad. This will actually give you very different kind of tonalities as you play with it. It's not over the top, it's not ridiculous. Uh, the reverb's nice, you can foot switch the reverb as well, which I really appreciate with the amp. Okay, so uh, the nice thing too is that you know you get a lot of the high gain amplifiers, and there's there's things that guitar players will always kind of desire from those amps. And uh, I assure you, you can get it from this amp. Just running the right pedals in, and you will get there. So I'm going to show you something uh, with uh, some uh, high gain distortion, bit of delay, and uh, just some of the amp's natural reverb as well. So you can get that nice full kind of like um, modern tone. You can get the nice old school kind of uh, traditional tone. And uh, the one thing I really like too is, you know, I think we've gone astray as far as amps go and, and you know, thinking about it in terms of traditional and modern at the, you know, originally when amps were built, they were built to have a voice. And I think that's the way they're supposed to be, you know, and all those sought after amps that people pay a lot of money for, for because they're old, they had those voices because they were built with no preconceived ideas or anything. And this amp reminds me of those. It has its own character, its own voice. Uh, the guys I play with always comment on this amp. And um, my, you know, the bass player I play with, Johnny Roy, is his favorite amp, you know, so, and, uh, and he's, he's got quite the keen ear. So, you know, when, when it's getting noticed by someone other than guitar players, you know you got something good. Anyway, uh, in conclusion, uh, like I said, check out the amp, and uh, I know you're going to like it. And, uh, oh, there's an edit. 
He'll probably leave that in to embarrass me. Anyway, cheers everybody, and I'll talk to you soon. We have input here, bright switch, which is uh, very nice. It's actually really good for going from like a humbucker guitar to a single coil guitar. Um, got the first knob is your gain knob, how much you know input gain, how much you're driving the amp. You got your bass, middle, treble, volume, and uh, we've got reverb. It's a very nice reverb in this amp as well, so it's a very simple layout, which is great. Um, the other thing is just standby switch and power, I mean we all know that. On the underside is where you'll find the jack for the reverb if you want to switch it on and off remotely and also that's where you'll find the switches for the uh, tube rectifier versus solid state and the uh, class AB or class A switch.